Week 15 of the Madden franchise is here, guys. The 7-6 and six Indianapolis Colts are taking on the 10-3 and three Minnesota Vikings. We are currently the number one seed in the NFC. We have a singular game lead over the Packers in the division, and we have a game lead over the Bucks for the number two seed. So every game matters from here on out, obviously. Uh, but guys, goal for this video, 100 likes is going to continue to be the goal. If you are enjoying, please smash like helps tremendously with the algorithm. 100 likes, keep the subs coming. Cannot thank you guys enough for the support. But guys, week 15 is underway. The last time the Colts played at U.S. Bank Stadium was in 2016. Andrew Luck was the starting quarterback for the Colts, but it was a blowout. The Colts won 34-6. to We really hope that does not happen today. Zedaria Smith was injured in practice, so he will be out along with linebacker Brian Asamoa. And we are underway, and Greg Joseph will start us off with a touchback. And going through the Colts injury report, it was very short. It was receiver Paris Campbell, who is out with a dislocated ankle. All right, guys, we're underway. The goal of every drive today is going to be simple, guys. Get off the field early. The last thing I want to have on every drive, or any drive, is to be up against the Colts run game, and have Big Q and all those guys coming downhill and that, you know, 10, 11, 12 plays. That's going to be the goal. So that is our entire goal today. Just get off the field. We're right there. We're right there. Right there. Daniel Hunter with the sack. Let's go. That's a good start. That's a good start. Third and 14, backed up already. What a start. That's what we want, guys. We just we just cannot give up a first down here. That is literally it. We just cannot give up a first down. Can Daniil get a second sack? I'm going to guess no. Oh, it wasn't far off. And we're off the field anyway. Let's go. Let's go. What a start. That's that's. If we can get that start to every single game, that's all I'm asking for. And by the way, there are a couple minor announcements. We extended three players this week. One was running back Alexander Madison. He received a four-year deal. It may pop up on the screen. That's kind of why I wanted to let you guys know that before we take the field on offense. Good return by Kene Wangwu, by the way. We also extended Irv Smith on a three-year deal. Irv wasn't asking for that much. Kirk Cousins, 31 touchdowns, 19 interceptions on the year. He had a very bad game against New England a couple games ago. Um, but, yes... Irv, or yeah, Irv and Alex Madison were extended. And Alex has, he has three or four straight games now with getting double digit carries and that will look to uh, extend into today. So we want to continue to try and establish the run. We love getting Alexander Madison the football as much as we have been. He's been a pleasant, I don't want to say surprise because everyone knew who he was, but he's been a very good player for us this year. And with Irv, I wanted to extend him because he's not a bad tight end and the price wasn't all that bad either. There's a good play by Dalvin. Good play and that is going to be a gain of three. So now we have third and four on our 49 yard line. We do want to get JJ cooking early. I like this off coverage out on Jefferson to the left here. So we may just hit a quick slant. Ooh, good coverage. Kirk misses a throw on third and four. All right, Indy got good good pressure there. The Chiefs are surprisingly 6-7 and seven if you see that at the bottom of the screen. And guys, I don't want to play the field position early. So we are going to, uh, we're going to go for this. We're going to go for this. I'm going to see if I can bring Thielen on a slant. I kind of do. I just want to get the ball out quick here. So we have Jefferson on a drag, Irv going deep, and Thielen on a slant. I just want to get the ball out quick. Intercepted. You got to be freaking kidding me. All right. Anyway, it was that really doesn't change anything because if they got the ball there, that is what it is. You know, they got the ball at hour 49. I didn't want to play the field position game. I know that probably would, that wouldn't have been a bad thing. Oh boy! Oh, Kendricks missed just missed him. That's annoying. That's really annoying because we should have had him for a one yard loss and we just missed the tackle. Alrighty. I think they're going to run right up to gut here. Run right up to gut. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so now they have the ball down to the 27. Not ideal, I got to be honest. Not ideal. 
Everyone, by the way, is gassed at this point in the season. So everyone, everyone is fatigued. Come on, get off. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, my God. And Kendrick started coming in right there, even though I was personally covering him. And then he just... Like, that is, like, guys, don't, oh, maybe not, let's not give him nine seconds to throw the ball. Maybe, maybe we should just let Matt Ryan take a personal vacation back there. Give him, give him, you know, f you know, 13 or 14 seconds to throw the ball. I mean, come on. You know, I turn in from Kendricks to Hunter to try and get some pressure, and then, oh, that's, a, yeah, right there. Shitty drive. I mean, extremely shitty defensive drive. Just, uh, just horrible all around. There was legitimately nothing positive about that defensive drive. We missed tackles. We didn't get off blocks. Four plays. Yep, that's, I mean, that's about right. Four plays, 52 yards. Credit to Colts. That interception was less than ideal, especially at the position. Not the position, I guess, but just everything that led after. 47 yards to hour six. I mean, we had a great first drive defensively, but that second drive was just, ugh. Good run, Alex. Good run, Alex. That's why he received a contract extension. Like I said, I like feeding Alex Madison the football. I really do. Really love feeding Alex Madison the football. I think he is a very uh, underrated player. And the price wasn't bad. It was only about four mil a year. Um, no comment on any anything else that may. Irv Smith, there we go. Good play. So Kirk rebounds after the interception, which in reality might as well have been an incomplete pass. But 18-yard reception for Irv Smith, fresh off a contract extension. Oh, good. No, no blocking there. No help there. Dalvin, one carry, negative one yards on the day. We got to get 1-8 the football at some point. At some point, 1-8 has to get the football. How about right now? Just made Colts made a play. I mean, you got good play. I mean, seriously, good play. But frustrating, but good play. We have the ball back to the 50. This is where, you know, you want to get at least 7-8 yards. 7 or 8 yards. Thielen gets more than 7 or 8. Fourth and 1. Oh, man, we can get a 57-yard field goal, or we can go for it. Coach's suggestions are to indeed go for it. We're going for it. By the way, we're going for it. I We're going to go for it. There's no doubt we're going for it here. I'm going to hand the ball off to Alex Madison. So he has two carries, 14 yards on this exact play. Look at all the guys off to the right side. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting this. And he got it. Good play. Good play. I mean, you you know what I mean. You gotta you gotta take risks to win games. So, good decision right there. Plus, we get the defense off the field, which I, I want to keep the defense off the field truly as much as possible today. Ooh! All right, we got back to the line. Back to the line. I thought we could get a little more out of that. It was a good play right there. All right, we're going to run a flood concept here. We got all of our guys on the field. Thielen picks up a much-needed six. Now we have third and four on the Indy 32-yard line. See, I love going for it on fourth down there because at worst case, providing we don't take a sack here, we're going to get points. So always love that. Third and four in the Indy 32. KJ Osborne, good catch. What a timely play for a 19-yard pickup by KJ Osborne. And we definitely do want to keep establishing the run. That's that is one thing that we love to try to do. Ed, Ed Ingram, good good play. Way to hold up. Oh, he was down anyway. But I was going to say, um, way to hold off DeForest Buckner just long enough. Now we have second and seven. All right, let's go, guys. Second and seven on their 10-yard line. They're sending heat. There's JJ for the touchdown. I think that's his 15th of the year. Hit the signature. Hit the gritty. Justin Jefferson 
killing it in his third year. There it is, the gritty. We're going to tie the game. Good, good, actually great response drive. That was exactly the drive we needed. We went for it on fourth down. Kirk was had a hell of a drive. 11 plays, 5 minutes. You love to see a drive take nearly half the quarter. And especially if it gets our defense off the field. And keeps our defense off the field. There was also a defensive extension if this wasn't announced. Dalvin Tomlinson. We agreed to a one-year deal with Dalvin Tomlinson. Um, this was... Dalvin was extended because I wanted to get... thought it would be another year or two acquire a player at the defensive at the defensive tackle position that I think will in long in the long run be better than what Dalvin is now so always like to do that that's you don't want Jonathan Taylor in open field like that um, anyway that will take us to the end of the first quarter there will be some some changes this offseason we've alluded to it but there will be some changes this offseason um, but like I said I will I liked oh that ball is out and we couldn't get it damn Good fumble. Good force fumble, by the way. But Dalvin Tomlin, there were three players extended this week. We alluded at the beginning, or we said at the beginning, it was Alexander Madison and Irv Smith on offense and Dalvin Tomlinson. But anyway, they have first and 10 on our 45-yard line. Kendrick's right there, please. One time. One time. Kendrick's, please. Thank you. Good play. Good play, Eric. Always like hyping up the guys. Always like hyping up the, hyping up the guys. So good play, Eric. Would love to see another Daniil Hunter sack. Maybe another Daniil. Oh, screen, 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 screen. Right there, right, right there. Good play. Good play, Pat Pete. Now we have third and eight. I do want to send some pressure here. The only question is, is with who? Am I made actually audible out of this? We are. I'm going to user Harrison Smith here. And if Harrison doesn't have anybody out in his zone. good play it was a really good play I was caught right there because I was trying to defend let's see if it comes up I was trying to defend how oh, you can't see me pointing the vertical that that I knew was coming and I got caught up between that and the uh, swing route by Jonathan Taylor because I was trying to intercept the vertical on the backside um, that would have been a hell of a play but Matt Ryan wisely checked it down all right we're gonna we're done playing we we'll make some adjustments here there's there's going to be some adjustments here, I promise. Now we have second and five. They have quite the drive going here. Good play. That's what I'm talking about. Third and three. All right, guys, let's see these adjustments take place. All right, we have third and three. This is where the defense needs to take a stand. Like, we need... Oh guys, what are we doing here? Harrison, get down there. What are we doing? We need a stand here. Oh, screen. God dang, man. No, come on. He might not have got it. Fourth and inches. Are they going to kick the field goal? I'd imagine they'd go for it. I was going to say they should go for it, and they are. We're sending heat. There's no doubt we are sending heat here. Um, I don't care. I, 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 whatever the results are, we're living with it. We're sending heat. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Oh, I don't think he got the other foot. Let's go. We're off the field. He didn't get the foot, right? I didn't. Let's go. Good drive. Not good drive, but good stand. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Good run, Alex. Like to see the power. Like to see it. Let's go. Four carries, 24 yards on the day. I want to keep handing him the football. I like when Alex, I, I think good things happen when Alexander Madison gets the football. Oh, I just wanted to get the first down there and we couldn't get it. Injury report, Bobby Okereke is down. Third and one. Are we going to run a third straight running play? Indeed we are. Can we get it though? Can we get it? Can we get it? Yeah, oh yeah we can. Oh yeah we can. Good play, Alex. Like I said, good things happen. Quiddy Pay now down. 2021 Colts first round pick but anyway I was saying um, good things happen when Alexander Madison touches the football now we're going to incorporate some play action here there's JJ wide open wide open across the middle I, I have liked the results from when we've ran under center you know obviously um, in 2022 a lot of teams are you know major majority shotgun and understandably so, but I have liked the results 
from when we've gone under center. I really have this year. They're stealing. Good play. That's another eight. Guys, we're playing solid. I mean, we are, we're not playing like, you know, kick ass and we're not playing like, you know, top elite football, but we are playing solid. And that's, I feel like all you can ask for, you know, because it's like, we're going, if we keep it up, we're going to win this game. But I like where things are going. Kane Wangwu on the field, by the way. Oh, I, oh, that was a duck. That was a duck. And KJ came down with it. Shoo. Kirk was getting hit, made a hell of a throw. KJ made a hell of a catch. Boy, was I nervous when that ball left Kirk Cousins' hand. KJ Osborne on the day, two catches, 39 yards. Kane Wangwu on the play for back to back snaps. That's fine. Went to Jefferson. It was a his or nobody ball. Completely fine with that. All right, let's go, guys. Here we go. Second and 10 on the Colts' 15-yard line. We're starting to gain some momentum. Starting to gain some momentum. See if we can keep it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Good play. Third and 10. Okay. Now, I realize I said good things happen when Alexander Madison touches the football, and I agree with that, but even Barry Sanders lost yards in his day. KJ going for the home run. Let's go. KJ's third catch of the day. This easily the biggest, a 16-yard touchdown. KJ hitting the dance. You like to see that. We are up 14-7. At least I'm assuming Greg's going to make this. And the kick is up, and it is good. That's a great response drive. Nine plays, 76 yards. Kirk, four of six, 61 yards on that drive. Now, that's the another reason I like that drive specifically is because, not just because we scored, um, but because it was an answer drive. Like, you know, we, we held them and we could have easily just said, you know, we could have just easily went three and out or, you know, whatever. But, you know, we had a third and one. We get, you know, we picked up a big third down run by Alexander Madison. So we had a good response drive. You know, our last two drives in offense have been uh, 20 plays and they've each went for touchdowns. 20 plays combined, that is. Now, do we have third and short here? Because if we do, we're going to send heat. Ah, first down. First down. Good run by JT. It's going to happen. I mean, JT is a hell of a back. By the way, Caleb Evans is in the game picking up snaps right now. Right there. We're right there. Right there. Good play, Cam Bynum. Now we have the two-minute warning. And, of course, we get the ball at the start of the second half. So this could be a big turn of events here. We just need we need to stop. I mean, they're going to pass the ball here. They're going to pass. Of course, we're guessing the play. Pass. Screen, 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 screen. Oh, boy, what a block by Big Q. No, that was the... Oh, whew. man, did we get saved by that. Holy cow, did we get saved by that. What a block by, by Big Q. Um, but that was, in terms of, like, both guys getting juked out, that was the worst thing that could have happened. But look, third and six, third and six, another screenplay, another screenplay, let's go, DJ Wanham, nobody there, and we don't have to burn a timeout. So we have all three timeouts, and we're getting the ball back. I'm playing Bynum back here, I don't think they're going to fake it, that would be insane. Let's go. Kane's going to field the ball right around the 18-yard line, and he's not going to go too far, but he gets us out to the 26. So we have a minute 40, all three timeouts. And aside from the first drive and what was an interception, which really was just in, you know, a, a statistic of an incomplete pass, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying, where they were going to get the ball anyway. Um, good play, Adam. Good play, Adam. We have all day. We have a minute 30. Kirk, two touchdowns on the day. We have plenty of time here. I like, you know, I like what we have going on. KJ, good. Oh, what a play. Credit them. Credit where it's due. Hell of a play there. I kind of want to run the ball here. I'm not going to lie. Because I would force them to take a timeout even if we don't get it. So I am going to initially call for a run. Oh, they have everybody there, man. They have everybody there. I'm going to actually audible this into a passing play. Who is in the zone for them? Shaquille Leonard is in the zone. 
All right, let's go. We just want two. There's Irv right there. Right there. Great play. Irv earning the contract extension. I want to no huddle this. I'm going to get one more play out of this. I'm going to run a bench concept here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wanted to run the bench concept. Actually, we're just going to run the same thing here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Irv. Aggressive catch. Irv. We're inside the 10. Let's go. Now we have 30 seconds and we're going to take a timeout. Ballsy throw by Kirk Cousins. Irv goes up and gets it. Kirk Cousins trusts his tight end. Let's go, guys. We are inside the 10-yard line. All right, let's go. I mean, guys, this is this is good territory to be in. KJ, second of the day. Did he get in? He did. Let's go. 20-7. to 7. KJ hitting the robot. And the Minnesota Vikings are going to be up 20. Oh, Booth review. This is critical because... KJ doesn't get it. We're going to have to burn a timeout. I thought he was a little short, but we'll see we'll See what they say. Indeed, he was a little short. Now, I'm going to see. Okay, clock is going. We're going to take a timeout. I'm not going to risk that. Um, we're just going to take a timeout. But that was, I like the effort there by KJ. I kind of want to run the ball here with Dalvin. I really want to run the ball here with Dalvin. I mean, there's just nobody there. Like, if we take care of business with the line like he's just gonna walk in i'm running it. i'm running it go for it go for it dalvin is in let's go good play guys we are up 20 to 7 30 plays in the first half offensively i mean we are playing good football i mean that's six plays 74 yards like i said guys we are playing good football dare I say championship caliber football don't want to jinx that but I mean all around you know defense is playing solid more than solid I mean seven first half points on one drive they only gave up 16 points last week I'm very very pleased with where we are right now Let's see if we can get some pressure here because the thing is, is Matt Ryan's a statue I mean, it's looking like at least they're going to. Oh, it's another screen. Another Boy, they have been spamming the screens. That is exactly what we wanted right there. That should take us to half. We have all the momentum entering the second half, and we get the ball. This is a big, big drive to start the second half. And Kane Wangwu will get us out to the 28-yard line. We're going to start the half off with a run. I mean, like I said, guys, 235 first half yards to their 109. I mean, you love to see. Oh, not a good run there. Not a good run there. We just, we've been, you know, we've been moving the ball efficiently. Kirk's been playing good. Irv had a couple big catches. KJ had a couple big, that might be a pick. End of this. That's, God, man, that's 100% on me. I knew Irv was coming across. I thought I could sneak it in right before. <clears throat> That's on me. And I'm pissed. F oh, man, I was about to drop the F-bomb, but I, I messed up the momentum that we had there, guys. That I mean, that's poor, poor-ass decision on my part. Right there. Let's go. Lewis gets us back, but user lurk right there. Let's go, Lewis. Oh, we have better field position if he even gets tackled. Lewis inside the 40. This is a track race, and Lewis will not be caught. I actually take that back, guys. Let's go. Let's go. What a what a turn of events right there. That puts us up three touchdowns. Lewis seen second defensive touchdown of the year. What a pick six for the first round rookie. I was so pissed right before that play, man. I was fuming mad, but oh boy. Two turnovers. Two cumulative turnovers in the first minute of the third quarter. I'll take that, guys. You know, if Kirk wants to throw another interception, we get a pick six. I'm fine with that. What a what a what a turn of events. Let's go. We're up 28-7. They're getting the ball. And I'd like whenever we get the ball back, just pound the rock with with Dalvin and Alex Madison. Uh that was a hell of that was a big, big turn of events there. By the way, I got Lewis right now kind of just patrolling the middle of the field. I have Cam Bynum back in the deep half. So Eric Hendricks right now is out of the game. Um, fumble. Oh, my goodness. Lewis gets the ball again. Holy cow. What a, Guys, what a turn of events. 
Oh my goodness. All right, Dalvin, let's feed feed Dalvin. Feed the chef. Feed him. And there's what? Four right there? Okay. Oh geez, five carries for seven yards for Dalvin on the day. That's fine. We're playing good football. Can't really get pissed when we're when we're winning by three scores. Oh, not a good run there. We now have third and five. All right, here we go. Third and five on the Colts' 28-yard line. Dalvin is right there and gets the first down. All right, there we go. Keep clock, keep ticking. Keep that clock moving. You love to see that. And now we have the ball inside the red zone, by the way. I was so surprised with that fumble. I just, what a double team block between Ed Ingram and Brian O'Neill to get Darius Leonard, or Shaquille Leonard out of the play. Sorry, I'm used to calling him that, his former name that he went by. Anyway, Shaquille Leonard was knocked out of the play right there by a great double team block. And we have the ball down to the 10 yard line. And you're, of course, we are, we are going to run the ball again. Now there's five guys over on the right side. So we're just going to run to the left. Just run where they are not. Let's go. Now we're inside. Now we're inside the five. Alex Madison up to 43 rushing yards on the day. I'll bring Dalvin in here inside the five. See if he can punch it in. Same play. Trips to the left. Same play. It is very much see if you can stop us. And they can't. Let's go. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Bully ball. You know, I was worried the Colts were going to do that to us. That's what I'm talking about. 30 Four, seven, all Minnesota Vikings. Are we feeling 35 7? Are we feeling a 50 burger? What a. Guys, we are kicking their ass. I mean, we are. What a. Just no words. What a game so far. Two and a half quarters, 35 points. That's what I'm talking about. And the thing is, is I was alluding to this earlier. I have Lewis seen in the middle of the field right now. Like I said, adjustments will be made. I kind of hate to take him out of the middle of the field. I mean, he's. 6'1", 200 pounds, he's a, you know, a, he's also very fast. It's another screen play, another screen play. Ross, no, Ross couldn't make the play. Holding penalty is going to bring up another fumble. Oh my goodness, another fumble. We're going to decline the penalty. Like, what is going on? Holding, decline. We're going to decline the penalty. Hey, guys, like, what? No, I mean, I'm used to me making these types of mistakes where they get the ball deep into our territory. I'll gladly take this. Not used to this by any stretch. I mean, defense, three turnovers in the first four minutes of the second half. That's what I'm talking about, guys. 35-7. I mean, the Colts in a lot of ways imploding on their own. Good run, Dalvin. Good 10-yard run. Boy, Dalvin is the touchdown vulture today. He has eight carries for 21 yards. So Madison has, like, I want to say double the yards that Dalvin does. No touchdowns, but I don't think either guy is going to complain when we're up 28 points, you know, with our 11th win staring us right in the face. Good run, Dalvin. Or Alex, good run. Now we're down to the five. This is what I'm – this is exactly if, – if every game could go like this – I would love this. Would I would just I would take this every single game. Oh nope, sorry. I just want to chew the clock. That's that's the only thing I was trying to do. There we are. Down inside the five. Can Dalvin get a third touchdown? Alex would be a little hot, and he can. All right, so uh, Alex, we'll have to get another touchdown for him, guys. We're feeling fifty burger. I mean, we're up forty-two seven. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. We're up forty-two seven. Colts have three turnovers in the first. Uh, we're killing them. All right, so now I did bring Eric Hendricks back into the game. Don't know if I should have, uh, based on the way the defense is kind of playing without him there. Um, I mean that truly in the best way possible. Um, but Eric Hendricks is now in the game. We do it, like I said, we have Lewis seen in the middle. That is our six-yard gains underneath our our best friends at this point. They are truly exactly what we want. You get five or six every play. We'll give we'll give you a touchdown. We'll give you a touchdown. As long as, as long as it's a uh, a nice 12 play four minute touchdown, we'll give them to you. What a game though, truly. Screen, screen. Lewis seen. Can he sift through the traffic? He cannot, but he tripped him up. So good play right there. 
All right, uh, guys, we're up 42-7, so Harrison Phillips, defensive tackle, now out of the game. Want to give the big boys who are uh, getting beat up every single play some rest. Um, so James Lynch, 2021 fourth-round pick. Maybe I might be wrong in the year, but a former fourth-round pick, I think it's 2021, is uh, he's going to be playing there the rest of the game. So I just, I just don't want James Lynch taking any unnecessary plays. Jonathan Taylor just completely bowled over Lewis Seen. That's fine. You know, they're in our territory. It's hard to get mad when you're up 35 points in the third quarter. So, you know, it is what it is. They have 150 total yards of offense. Are they just going to keep very bold? Okay, that's... You don't like to see them get bowled over on back-to-back -back plays. So, I'm actually... Yes, yes, yes. Next-gen stats. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. Can we show a next-gen stat of the scoreboard? And I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to take Lewis Seen out of the game. I mean, he kind of got trucked on back-to-back -back play. So now we have Josh Metellus in. I will eventually continue to just sub out the rest of the guys. Uh, Caleb Evans, when I said he was in earlier, he hasn't left the game. So he's he's been in. He's been getting a lot of snaps today. If we give up points, I'm really not concerned. Harrison Smith, the next to go out. We'll see who we'll bring in here. I'll bring in, I uh, kind of... Chris Boyd is a corner, but we're just, guys, all we're doing is just playing a cover three at this point. Just no deep plays, keep everything in front. Chris Boyd is now in the game. Josh Metellus, not surprisingly, doesn't make the tackle on Jonathan Taylor. That's fine. Now Eric Hendricks, the next to go out of the game. Troy Dye will be in. So, guys, we have just have pretty much all our backups in at this point. There's a lot of rookies, a lot of young guys out there. I do think it is a cool feature right here, by the way. Troy Die, the guy that I'm using right now. He doesn't wear gloves in real life, so cool that Madden noticed that. Because Troy Die is obviously not a uh, you know, a household name by any means. And that's something not a lot of people would know, but Troy Die does not wear gloves. So cool by Madden to incorporate that. And good good defensive stand by us to only give up a field goal. And we will enter the fourth quarter. Okay, I had to make sure I had to make the field goal. But we'll enter the fourth quarter up 42-10. Forty-four plays to their thirty-six. You love to see that. By the way, if you guys are enjoying as we enter the fourth quarter in this game, uh, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Would be very much appreciated. And as you can see, we have a different quarterback in. Nick Mullins is in the game, and he is going to hand the ball to Kane Wangwu. All right, now we have second and nine. Now to be clear, we are still going to. Uh, I'm not just going to say, hey. Nick just hand the ball off three times and punt the ball like we're yes we are going to run the clock but we are we will pass the ball if the situation calls for it here on third and long so we will be passing the ball here like this isn't just a oh hey Colts just here you know we're up so here's free you know here's free points you know what I mean like we're going to be passing the ball here oh they're sending heat Nick Mullins gets him through what a play BDN makes the play Oh, little, ah, uh, Madison got three yards, four yards, we'll take it. Now, I do want to get a player in that hasn't seen the field much at all this year, and that is rookie Ty Chandler. You know, this is Ty's time to make, make an impression, good or bad, Ty. Oh, really good, really good run, Ty. We'll take that every time. I mean, Ty, if he kept that up for the rest of his career, he'd, he'd have the most, he'd average the most rushing yards out of any running back ever. So we'll take that. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to trust him again. Back to back snaps. What is, what does Ty have in his tank? Might've been a little beginner's luck, but look, that's what I'm talking about. Six minutes left in the game. Calling a passing play here. See if they're going to send heat. They are not. But Nick under pressure, and oh, can they drop the ball? So, it's fine. Nick Nick, Nick Mullins placed the ball where he needed to there. All right, Nick Mullins, little screen action to Kane Wongwu here. How can, how good can we do? All right, Kane is going to be tackled short of the first down. All right, so fourth and three. Normally, I'd go for this, but, I mean, we're up. 
well, we are. This is just a, you know, kind of just like a, all right, just punt the ball and, you know, it is what it is. We're just trying to pin them. That's literally all we're trying to do. This looks like to, looks like it's going to be a good punt. Good punt. Really good punt by Ryan Wright to get him down to the six-yard line. All right, there we go. Daniil Hunter, one of the last players to be taken out of the game. And like I said, we're going to be running the same play defensively from here on out. It's just going to be the same cover three sky. I'm going to see. I'm going to use your Patrick Jones, see what he has in the tank here. A little screen. Patrick! Oh, that would have been a pick six. I don't know how that would have been classified because, like, I guess it would have been a one interception, zero yard, one touchdown play. But like to see it, Patrick. You like to see that. Shout out, Patchman. Let's go. Come on, guys. Second and ten. Oh, we could have had a stunt there. We could have had a stunt. Oh, JT. Oh, Patrick Peters is still in the game. I guess we got to take care of that. Let's go ahead and get him out. Sorry, I thought I had everybody out. Uh, Andrew Booth, because he's a rookie, will be playing. It was either him or Chandon Sullivan. I'll give Chandon the... Uh, I'll let Chandon rest. Less than five to play. Guys, they are just so obsessed with screens. Oh, Patrick would have liked to see him make that play. Really would have liked to see Patrick Jones make that play. It was so close to making it, too. Like, so close to getting off the block. Jonathan Taylor, 10 catches, 53 yards. I mean, just, just truly... I mean, they're back to it again. I mean, just a funky game plan. Just truly, like... The meme, like, what is his plan? Like, what was their plan heading in? I mean, they had one They had one good drive, truly. Like, four. they had a four-play, like, 52-yard drive in the beginning of the game when they had an interception. Um, good play. No, come on, we're almost there. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Guys, come on. But anyway, no, what was the Colts plan? Like, let's... Let's just spam JT. Let's just give him like 40 touches and like, oh, hey, here's, you know, 14 screens. And then we'll give you like another like six carries up the middle. Like what? I don't understand that at all. I mean, I'm not complaining because it's an easy, you know, it was a good team win. But by the way, good tackle there by Josh Metellus, who is a pending free agent, by the way. 12 catches, 67 yards for JT on the day. Well, we get a 13th. They're, they're calling for it. And he catches it, and that's a loss of, uh, like, 8. So now we're up to, like, 13 catches for, like, 51 yards on the day. Or 13 for 60, sorry. Apologies. A whopping 5 yards a catch today for Jonathan Taylor. Like, what a just... Oh, my... I mean, what a recipe to lose. And this was a game the Colts needed. They were 7-6 and six entering the game. So, I, I don't know what the play, AFC playoff picture looks like in terms of their the win totals, but I would imagine the Colts, you know, they don't have another another one, another one, and DJ Wanham on the pass breakup. So, Matt Ryan has 24 completions, and 13 of them have been to Jonathan Taylor. All right, I'm just going to defend the screen here. Let's see if I can intercept the screen here. I'm actually just going to come down with Cam Dantzler, see if we can just pick it off. Oh, Andrew Booth getting tested. Good breakup by Andrew Booth. And they're going to punt the wall back to us. These stats are actually going to be, like, comical. Like, when we, when we go over the stats at the end of the game, these are going to be, like, like why? We're just going to fair catch this. I'm going to run a couple plays here. I'm not going to take three knees. I am going to give, like, Kane Wong Wu and Ty Chandler a couple carries. But, like, these are very much going to be, like, what are, like, What? The Minnesota Vikings will improve to 11-3, and three, by the way. As if you didn't already know that. But, two carries, five yards for Wong Wu on the day. Let me know if you guys, if there's any, like, anything you guys want to see from the franchise, though. Um, the offseason is coming. But any improvements to the channel, anything, you know, we're right around 1,300 subs. Want to get that up. Appreciate everyone being here. By the way, if you are still watching at this point in the video. But if there's anything you specifically want to see, good run by Alex. Oh, we're definitely padding those stats. That will be the final play of the day, and he will get up to 81 yards. Uh, but like I said, if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. And a 42-10 convincing win by the Minnesota Vikings. Kevin O'Connell, 11th victory of the season. 
I gotta, I gotta be honest. I can't wait to take a look at these stats. I mean, these are going to be comical, especially on the Colts side. I'm gonna look at ours first. Kirk threw the two picks. The one was especially bad. You know, we spread the ball. I mean, it's three rushing touchdowns by Dalvin. Um, but these guys, you know, getting some carries at the end. You love to see that. JJ, quiet day. Two catches, 29 yards. I think that's easily his. I think he had a two-catch, 39-yard performance against the Commanders, but that's easily one of his most quiet days all year. Daniel had a sack early. Um, Lewis Seen had a hell of a play. Let's, this is what I'm actually really looking forward to here. 24 for 32, okay. 4.7 yards per attempt. The longest pass was 14 yards. JT, so they were running the ball well, 51 yards after contact. And then this is, this is going to be hilarious, okay. So we held Michael Pittman to no catches. We held Alec Pierce to no catches. Jonathan Taylor had 13. Mo Ali Cox had five. Like, what was the plan here, truly? Um, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today. We improved to 11 and three on the year, um, but that's that's gonna wrap up. And if you did, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, as always, please be safe and have a great day. Love you guys.